Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to bring to you guys a little bit of different content just so you can see a little bit more of my lifestyle. I know I mentioned in my how I'm preparing mentally, spiritually, and physically video that I was definitely going to emphasize um, lifestyle and um, work-life balance and I think that you know the heart of that is really stewarding your body and how you take care of yourself in terms of the food that you're taking in how you're preparing your food, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, the baseline verse for me in stewarding your body is 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19. And Paul writes, Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own, for you were bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. Um, that's verses 19 to 20 and the reason why I use this verse is because this is the verse that made me really understand why it's important for me to take care of myself in terms of my health and the things that I'm intaking because I'm only 22 years old and so if I'm not taking care of myself now there's a very high possibility that all the things that I'm ingesting at this point in my life uh. could catch up to me you know like in my older age. And so I wanted to kind of talk to you guys during this get ready with, not get ready with me, during this what I eat in a day, just so that you guys would kind of know, um, you know, how I feel about being a good steward of your body. But most importantly, get some recipe ideas for how to steward your body. So I start my mornings typically with either oatmeal or with avocado toast. And on this particular day, I actually measured all of my food and counted calories, which I do every now and again, but I did it on this day just so you guys can see. I typically eat under 1600 calories, which is a calorie deficit for me because I gained a lot of weight during this quarantine. And that was from being lazy. And laziness, you know, completely goes against being a good steward of your body. It's really important that in order to take care of yourself, your physical health, that you're constantly, not constantly, but that you're active. And me literally laying in my bed for 12 out of the 24 hours a day binge watching something was not healthy. So I needed, I'm currently still in a calorie deficit just to like lose my weight and lose some weight and get back to um, a, a very healthy weight for me. So Again, I'm eating my very yummy creamy oats for breakfast this morning. Um, I definitely enjoyed that breakfast, but I also wanted to be, be made known that I actually went light on my breakfast this morning, so it was about 150 calories, and the reason was because I knew I wanted to be able to eat three meals a day, and I wanted to eat a big lunch. So first, I'm going to wash the dishes before I get into lunch. And you know, one thing that I struggled with for a while was eating three meals a day like I knew that most people did that and I used to think that was excessive but I've as I've grown and matured I realized that eating three meals a day is really important you know for your own like for your digestion um, for your food consumption in general because if you're not eating three meals a day it's that much more difficult to get in the daily serving of water um, I definitely drink okay I drink on average um 120 ounces of water every day um i try to eat the daily serving of fruits and vegetables as a minimum so i incorporate fruits and vegetables i mostly eat my fruits in the mornings and then i eat my vegetables at night for dinner my lunch could be very up in the air and another thing i'm learning to do is to portion control so in order to eat three meals a day it's really important that you have um, a light breakfast and a light lunch. If you don't do those things, then it'll be that much more difficult for you to eat three meals a day because if you're eating 10 pounds of food for lunch, you're probably gonna be full until the next day at 12 noon, which literally used to happen to me so often. So I'd really encourage you guys not to do that. I mean, in this video, you'll see what I'm eating, but I'm one of those people who can eat a burger and fries <laughs> and then still eat more food later. So. That's a problem, but it's not that big of a problem. So I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy the rest of this video. Peace.
One thing I definitely forgot to mention is that every meal was vegan until this one.